Hello my soccer universe. The Austrian Bundesliga season is getting underway this week and actually four of the six games have already been played at the moment that I'm shooting this video, Sunday morning, and I will plan to get it out Sunday in the evening by the time where almost all the games have been finished. And I realized that the last time I did an Austria Bundesliga collection video was actually two years ago at a time point where I just had broken the barrier of buying other Austrian Bundesliga teams than my favorite team, Lusk, whose jersey of course I'm wearing is my first ever Lusk jersey, still a very special one, probably my favorite one I gotta say. Meanwhile the collection has grown quite some because over the past two years I actually said, you know, if I want to grow a collection, I mean, I'm living in Austria, I might as well get other Austrian teams into my collection as well, because that should be relatively low hanging fruit and would make my collection a little bit more unique as well. And there are quite some quirks to Austrian jerseys here. For this video, if there is any of the five teams that I already had in my collection two years ago, I'm trying as much as I can for a few teams I cannot do it to show you a different jersey than I did last time and we're gonna go in the reverse order from the last season standing and we're gonna start in Fallberg all the way in the west with the latest addition to my Austrian Bundesliga collection which is Altach and this is an away jersey from 2019 to 2021 and it has a very curious story that you can uh, see already in my unpacking video. Basically, I made this as a surprise jersey for my buddy Andy and he gave me recently uh, the opportunity to buy it back because I probably have more use for it than he would have. I still think it's a rather unique color combination. The one thing is that on Football Kit Archive, this is rated as the lowest Altach jersey, which I don't quite agree with that statement. Yes, it has a few colors on there i also have to say you know it is very sponsory we have here fruit juice company on the sleeves we have here of course uh the supplier but there's also gunst and there is the main sponsor that they're losing finally so yellow will get out of the color palette but i think overall i actually do like the template even though the striping is a little bit weird but i think there's something interesting to that one for sure and the color is really really nice yako did a good job maybe the only thing is that everything is sublimated in here which kind of is a bit cheap and it also has a name set with Nussbaum on the back. I also have decided this time I'm gonna fill up the wall from the top for the very simple reason that, you know, I wanna put a little bit more emphasis on the smaller teams. Next up is actually not a small team. It is Austria Vienna, arguably the second biggest team in Austria. And I still have only this home jersey. It's a pretty home jersey from 2004 to 2006 worn with the famous Total 90 template. Marga sponsor, I absolutely love the old style crest there. There is a lot to like here. Maybe here the name set. The one thing is for Austria Vienna, it is actually really hard to find decently priced jerseys on Wilhelm. And I'm actually on the lookout for a white one for quite a while. But I definitely don't want to spend more than 30 bucks on it. So yeah, that's why I'm still having this one. Austria Vienna have also been in some trouble, so there was not really a need to get more. But I know I should get more just to add to the collection. But you know, price is a factor. These two jerseys are maybe not super representative of the Austrian Bundesliga, although you see already at the Alltag jersey there's quite some sponsors. But yeah, sponsors galore is what we're gonna see on the next one which is Wolfsburg WAC or Wolfsburger AC as they are called frequently in English. I bought this one for 20 bucks, the 1920 home jersey. Actually, take the sponsors aside for a moment. I actually do like the design and yes, the green and the red are colors from the sponsor, main sponsor Arxet Pellets, the, who we also see in the official logo. But I gotta say, there's something really sweet about this jersey. Another Yako creation. This time around, the crest is actually, you know, print print on. This is a very substantial fabric here. Everything else except the Yako logo is sublimated. But yes, the one thing that stands out are the sponsor, sponsor, sponsors. It's not even that wild. I mean, this season, I think Wolfsburg is even wilder there. We have one sponsor here, we have one here, we have one here. We have two below the Yako logo. And then the main sponsor, we have, of course, on the side, an Opel here and we have Auto Eisen here. I think it's this kind of the same sponsor. Then we have on the sleeves a Velox, which is the same thing as we have here. The other sleeve is curiously empty. They missed some real estate here, but then we have also Fontala, Salonetis, everything. It is sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. I still think it's not a bad jersey. Am I weird? Yes, probably. 
Okay, let's go to the other team of Kärnten and after showing you a rather, many would consider an ugly jersey, I'm gonna go the other way now. This is probably, club sympathies aside, my favorite Austrian Bundesliga jersey. It's from the 22-23 season. Is the Austria Klagenfurt home and yes, in league play there were sponsors, sponsors, there were a whole lot more sponsors. However, this is the fan version. Look how pretty this shirt is. I think the purple and the gold go very well together and then they have also this kind of darkish red here. The sponsor really adds something to the shirt. It's really, really well done. Uh, very well created. I don't quite get the Austria Klagenfurt logo, but you know, it is what it is. It, here we have the Bundesliga logo and yes, I probably should do a video on sponsors in Austria and how patches are placed. If you're interested, please let me know. And then we also have here a beer sponsor on the sleeves, which always works fine. And Nicolas Wimmer on the back, he's from Linz, although I think he played for the wrong team for a while. So this adds to it too, but this is a really standout shirt. Absolutely love that one. From the moment I saw it, it gets a special place now, back there. Now, arguably we get to the best piece or the worst piece, if you would like, which is of course this Hartberg jersey. And I'm so glad I got one and for a decent price to boot. Yes, it's a double XL. Not gonna wear it, although I would even argue if Hartberg would have qualified for Europe and they would have had to play in Linz, probably would have gone to their games and probably worn out this jersey, though it would have felt weird. In any case, look at these sponsors. I think there's actually a pretty shirt underneath. If you look at the patterning here, there's a really pretty shirt underneath and one that's not so bad. It's just the round out in sponsors, but I wanted to have that because this is the reality in Austria. This is a really small town team, actually a very likable team. The problem is that, you know, you need to finance the Bundesliga for a small town team. That's not easy. So a lot of sponsors and most of the sponsors, I would even say are local. And that's really cool. And the PSA results, of course, the Sperm Booster sponsor. But you know, we have 11 Team Sports, which is, of course, the supplier together with Adidas, who is actually on here. This is kind of a thicker glued on. And also the straps this is not fair fabric, it's just glued on, so this is very close to what the players were wearing. The hardback logo is just like a, a transfer, like all the other logos here. We have here Steiermark, which is of course the province and the city of Hardback, which I think are nice additions. I think this is actually well done. But then we have one, two, three, four, five, six proper sponsors on the front. We have Again, the same beer brand here on the sleeve that we had with the Klangfurt shirt, although it makes more sense for Klangfurt because this is from their province. We have another one here and then it adds, doesn't stop there. We have, of course, on the back two more. I'm sad that I don't have actually a name set on this one. This would have added something special, but still, what a jersey, what, I mean, it's either an eyesore or it is something really, really special. It's definitely the jersey with the most sponsors that I have in my collection. Just let me know what you think about it. It may be the worst jersey that I have, but I'm really happy and I'm proud to have this one in my collection. Next up, of course, is Austria's biggest team, which is Rapid. I've shown you already my home jersey that I have. I got an away jersey last year. And before I show it to you, I gotta say, this is a jersey, despite it being associated with a really, really bad result for my team Lusk. This is a jersey I always liked. The color combination did something to me. And it might not be even a classic Rapid away jersey in the sense, because there's one color more dominant than the other. But I think it's a really cool one. And when I saw it for a really decent price on Wilhaben, I said, okay, I might as well get that one. I'm talking about the 2021 away jersey. Yes, maybe a little bit too much blue. I think Rapid would deserve a little bit more of a balance. These are the founding colors of Rapid that are also very present in their club logo. I have to say there's something about this color comp combination I find really, really pleasing, especially the way that the red fades up here. And I remember even saying to my wife, the only thing pretty about the game, I think Rapid beat us 4-0 after the last completely dominated for 60 minutes. And then Rapid uh, ran away with the score. I remember saying to my wife, the game is not pretty, but I have to say those Rapid jerseys look weirdly really, really nice. So yeah, there you go. Maybe it's more red here. I don't know. It's, it's one of the last Adidas jerseys that Rapid had. Now they're with Puma, but I think it's a pretty nice one. And yes, it is blue on the back. It's still, I like it, weirdly enough. 
For Lusk, we have here the last season's home jersey, the last one of the self-produced era or the BWT era, if you would like. This one came to me with my season ticket that I had. We got the jersey for free. Let's face the obvious, the yellow sleeves are ugly, ugly. And to give you an idea how it might look without the yellow sleeves, just look at the European shirt. Show you that with that, that one as well. Actually, this makes it for a really nice shirt. Get the pink away on the, on the top. And I think this is a really interesting jersey, I gotta say. But I wanna show you the Bundesliga jersey more because, again, more sponsors. It's not the prettiest one, but it has some cool features. Hey, the new Last Logo, yeah, I'm not so sold on that one. However, I do like the one in the center, and there's also a holographic effect in it, which makes it kind of special with the upper Austria logo here. <sighs> The official supplier, no it's not, it's the sponsor, a league logo, then we have the Kornspitz here, then of course the bank that is also funding the stadium is on the sleeves, that's why we have it in yellow. Again, why? Why can't we just do it on white sleeves? I think it would not detract. And then we have a few sponsors here on the back and on the side. The pattern though I think is interesting with the off-center striping which is of course based on a jersey that was worn in the late 60s where this was with colors reversed to so a black jersey of this is uh, more accurate. And I have been wearing this to the stadium for the last season because I think you know I'm wearing the same thing as the players on the field more or less uh, which is kind of cool. But this jersey despite it being one of the ugliest jerseys in my collection will always have a very very special place. Rapid was beaten 5-0 at home in this jersey, as they were in this jersey. So we have both 5-0 jerseys uh, against Rapid, which is always something special. Therefore, here two very historic jerseys in one picture, and that's worth it. Okay, let's go Salzburg. Yeah, took a long while, but eventually I got around to get a Red Bull jersey. This was one thing I never thought I would have in my collection, but then, you know, I was keeping around the Austria Salzburg jersey, the old one, which technically is the same club, although, you know, the fan base is not the same. <sighs> That's a story for another video, and I actually made a video on it, which is linked up here, of course. Very interesting one, but I got a proper Red Bull Salzburg jersey also, I think, a bit more than a year ago, which is this one, the away jersey from the 21-22 season, and like with the Rapid jersey. I actually like the colorway quite some. I have to say the away jerseys for Salzburg look a whole lot better. They had a similar home jersey in red with white stripes, which also looked quite nice, I gotta say. The biggest thing is, of course, the logo here. There's a whole lot of plasticity to it, which I think is really, really, really nice and well done. It's also a player version with the ventilation here on the back. So I think this is very close to what the players have been wearing. And Red Bull Salzburg have one big sponsor, so they don't need to add many more. We have here, we have just one sleeve sponsor here in Rauch, which is another fruit juice, very popular fruit juice company here. I think it's owned by Red Bull. And one of their main players is always wearing a Rauch logo here. So that also goes. Placement of the Bundesliga logo though is... Bleh. Yeah, this is where I think the Austrian Bundesliga needs to reconsider how they demand the placement of the logo because that just does not look pretty. It's kind of really off. Uh, before I hang it up, two little details here. The center. This is Salzburg, means this is Salzburg. Yeah, very dialecty. And then they have here also a holographic effect here. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there is a Red Bull Salzburg logo and it switches to Fußball von Morgen, which means football of tomorrow. Yeah. Unashamedly, they really own up that they are different. Let's put it this way. And finally, we go to the Austrian champions, uh, Sturm Graz. The last time I showed you an away jersey from the late 2010s. I show you an away jersey again, but this time it's a black one. And I would have another one a choice, uh, also an away jersey. I've only Sturm Graz away jersey. What's wrong with me? Would love to have a striped one, but you know. We don't need to go overboard with Sturm Graz jerseys. I was really happy that they won the championship. I was also really happy. I knew that I needed to get a black one. I was really happy to find this one because I think this adds something special. The one that they won the championship, it was all black and kind of blah. This one, the, I think it was the last one by Lotto. I really like it. It's only black and white and especially like the off-center stripe with the nice Sturm Graz logo, which is a very thick silicone that also has some 3D effects on it, which is really nice. 
the overall pattern is pretty cool. The Lotto logo is also printed on. The Ponte Gamma here is sublimated, of course, another beer sponsor. And yes, the League logo would fit nicely here. This is how it should be done. And yes, there were a few more sponsors added up here and there because, you know, Austrian Bundesliga, there you go. But I think Lotto did a really good job here. No, not every player is called Ponte Gamma. In the Austrian League, you have seen already that names are usually put on the bottom because the top should be reserved for the sponsors. Yes, the Austrian League is really, really weird in that sense. I think it's a pretty shirt. So there you go. Nine teams that I have jerseys of in the Austrian Bundesliga, three are missing. And yes, we probably should work on these. Which teams are actually missing? I mean, of course, city rivals of uh, Lask Blauweiss Linz. I probably will need to get one of their jerseys. The problem is they are not dropping a price, but there are two that I actually really consider in a way. And maybe if I can get them on a sale, I might actually get around to doing that. Then, of course, is VSG Tirol. Uh, would be interesting. I would like to get one with a name set, especially one that is kind of the shiny silvery touch. Those would be really nice to have. And then the other Graz team, GRK at the moment. Uh, yes, I think this would be a team worth adding for the simple reason. Do you see one color is glaringly absent here? It's only added in through an away jersey by Alta and an away jersey by Rapid. Red. The Austrian league is not very prominent with red, which is kind of curious. We have two teams in purple, which doesn't happen in any other league. But we barely have any red teams, and that's why I think I would like to have a gear card jersey. Of course, for other Austrian teams, I do not want to spend more than 30 euros unless it's a jersey that I really like. Like this Klangfurt jersey I bought for 55. But everything else here was always well below 30. So there you go. Let me know what you think about these jerseys. I'm actually, meanwhile, quite proud that I have quite a few Austrian Bundesliga jerseys and I will add on more Austrian teams while also making sure that I add in equal amount Lask jerseys because, you know, that's my team. Need to add of them, of course. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!